Ancient Roman forts, hidden from history, have been uncovered through the scrutiny of Cold War spy satellite imagery. These Roman fortresses, dating back two millennia, were strategically positioned across the northern Fertile Crescent, stretching from what we now know as Western Syria to northwestern Iraq. During the 1920s, Father Antoine Poidebar embarked on a groundbreaking aerial survey employing a WWI-era biplane. His efforts documented 116 forts in this region. Poitabard's findings suggested that these forts were built from north to south, delineating the Roman Empire's eastern boundary. Nonetheless, a recent Dartmouth study employing declassified Cold War satellite imagery challenges Poitabard's assertion. This analysis unveils a staggering 396 previously unknown Roman forts, indicating that their construction unfolded from east to west. These forts extended from Mosul, along the Tigris River, to Aleppo in western Syria, contradicting Poitabard's depiction of a north-south alignment. This remarkable discovery is detailed in the journal Antiquity. Lead author Jesse Cassana, a professor in the Department of Anthropology and director of the Spatial Archaeometry Lab at Dartmouth, shares his astonishment, stating, I was surprised to find that there were so many forts and that they were distributed in this way because the conventional wisdom was that these forts formed the border between Rome and its enemies in the East, Persia or Arab armies. The previous belief was that Poitabard's map accurately portrayed the fort's role as border markers, preventing unauthorized movement across the region. To conduct this investigation, the research team harnessed declassified Cold War-era corona and hexagon satellite imagery, collected between 1960 and 1986. Much of this imagery is accessible through the Corona Atlas project, enabling Kasana and his colleagues to improve data correction methods and provide online access. The researchers focused their attention on approximately 300,000 square kilometers, 115,831 square miles, within the Northern Fertile Crescent, a region highly suitable for archaeological studies. The team meticulously mapped 4,500 known sites before systematically documenting every uncharted site-like feature within each of the approximately 5 by 5 kilometer, 3.1 mile by 3.1 mile, survey grids. This rigorous approach resulted in the identification of 10,000 previously undiscovered sites. When the database was originally created, Kasana introduced morphological categories based on discernible features in the satellite imagery. One of these categories pertained to Poitabar's forts, which exhibited a distinctive square shape measuring approximately 50 by 100 meters, equivalent in size to about half a soccer field. These Roman forts were designed to accommodate soldiers, horses and or camels. The satellite imagery also revealed some forts equipped with lookout towers on their corners or sides. Constructed from a combination of stone and mud brick, or even entirely from mud brick, these semi-permanent structures eventually merged with the landscape. While many of the forts documented by Poitabar likely fell victim to destruction or obfuscation due to agricultural practices, land development or other human activities between the 1920s and 1960s, the research team successfully identified 38 out of Poitabar's initial 116 forts. Furthermore, they unveiled 396 additional forts. Among these 396 forts, 290 were situated within the study region, while 106 were found in Jazire, western Syria. In addition to structures resembling the walled fortresses noted by Poitabard, the team pinpointed forts featuring interior architectural elements and those centered around mounded citadels. Kasana concludes, our observations are pretty exciting and are just a fraction of what probably existed in the past but our analysis further supports that forts were likely used to support the movement of troops, supplies and trade goods across the region. To support our channel's growth and ensure broader awareness, kindly hit the like and subscribe buttons. This will help us reach more individuals and disseminate valuable information. Thank you in advance.